Let's make the world green again. Here I am at Terra, the Sustainability Pavilion, where we can work together to make this planet safer for our future generations. Let's go. Wow, Sustainability District has given me so much to think about. And I don't want to stop here. I want to learn more. And I think I know the right place to take you all there. So how can you be sustainable in your life? Let's find out with Just Vegan. Hello, Jasmine, how are you? Hi, AJ. Good, Good to thank meet you. you. And you. Hi. Welcome to this village, Mara. Thank you very much. Nice, impressive place, huh? Yeah, this is for you. Oh. Love this acai, you know, it's like... It has like peanut butter in it as yeah, well, yeah? Yeah, peanut butter. Very nice. So how come someone can be vegan? For me, I think it's very difficult. Yeah, uh, one of the negative connotations that goes around being vegan is that it can be impossible or very difficult. But speaking from my personal perspective, it's about swapping one meal a day and not focusing on what you can't have and focusing on what you can have. So are you vegan? I am plant-based. So you don't eat chicken, meat? No chicken, fish, no meat, no fish. fish. No and you say in Jumeirah you don't eat fish? <laughs> yeah, that's not possible. There's lots of plants. Eggs? No eggs. What do you eat? Seeds, uh, berries, fresh vegetables. Enough? Enough, yes. Okay. So a way that the vegan diet supports sustainability and sustainable living is that if one person changes their diet to a vegan diet, it can reduce their individual's carbon footprint by 73%. Wow. So 60% of agriculture's greenhouse emissions actually come from meat and dairy production. Not only is it helping the body, it's also helping the earth that we live in. We've prepared a spread for you that's the best of both worlds. What do you mean, like, best of both worlds? Let's see. Wow, that's a lovely spread of brunch, isn't it? Thank you, AJ. We pride ourselves on our brunch here at Just Vegan. Mm -hmm. So I'll let you speak to Betsy. She'll tell you more about it. Betsy, how are you? Good to meet you. Hi, AJ. Let's have a seat and enjoy the feast here. Smells already so good. Our menu spread is to cater to every taste bud. We have like best of both worlds. What's this everyone saying best of both worlds? What, what does that mean? Here we have shawarma, chicken popcorn, wings, quinoa and brown curry, florets, lasagna, pizza. So there's beef and chicken also? Yes. So how do you like I have chicken and beef and this is a vegetarian place, you know? Is that so, real or is it just like coated or like a smell of it or just a... So when we say chicken or when we say meat, yeah. it's not the actual real chicken. Okay, I thought... So <laughs> but it looks all... like actual and real, you know? I, <laughs> so I'm gonna try the pizza. But it, I don't know, it tastes like chicken kind of, you know? Yeah, that's what, that's what we don't compromise on the taste. So does it have the same protein that a chicken has? Yes, it does. Really? Okay. And healthy. Mm. First time I eat pizza with a yellow chai curry. Uh-huh. And that's unusual. The rating is 10 out of 10. For being a veg? No, really. Wow. I, th I think it's a chicken. I don't I don't even know that. Oh, that's the best compliment we can get. <laughs> So 
plus. So this this is complete plant based meat. Mm -hmm. So it's made of soya protein mm -hmm. and tapioca starch and different items were complete plant based. But this tastes more like beef than than chicken. Than chicken. Mm -hmm. it, and it has like that that beef look into it. The crispiness, sweet and sour and spicy. Yes. It burns you around your lips, but it still has the the texture and the meat the feeling. Meat texture, yeah. yes. So what's your favorite? So my favorite would be quinoa with brown chicken curry. Oh, let me try this. I'm used to eating meat, fish, chicken, and I think it's very difficult to convert me. But this would be a nice, um, you know, if you have a, you want to stop for a week, just to, for a different diet to have like, you know, vegetarian and to, to come and try how you guys are living. Yes. That's a good thing. So we want it to be not just for vegans or vegetarians. We want it to be open to everyone who is transitioning to veganism or their transition. Either it's for the cause of animals or is it for their health. Mm -hmm. That's why we have like different items with vegan meat. So they don't miss the meat. Okay. This is the chicken shawarma. Shawarma, yes. Smells like one kind of, but without the the the, without the, actual, the, the actual meat and without the actual really strong shawarma smell. But let me taste it. Oh, you lost my sensations now. I don't know to believe my eyes or my my taste. You know, that's different. That's shawarma. Yeah, so this and is it has all the ingredients. Tahini, it has like. Everything in it. Everything, yes. Mm. So this is one of our best seller vegan shawarma. Sure. So even the taste of the pickle mm -hmm. gives you that full blend of like if you're having having shawarma but it's like vegetarian. But in your mind you know that it's vegetarian, mm -hmm. then then you know it's not real chicken. But I mean if you wouldn't have known, you just give somebody a shawarma sandwich, it will take time to beat. And it's like well, some flavors are missing, but it's still you have that feeling of a shawarma. You have the feeling. It's one of my favorites. Let's start, let's finish the lasagna. Be my guest. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> let's see the lasagna. Mm. It's really tasty, but mm -hmm. for me, to be honest, mm -hmm. number one is shawarma. Mm -hmm. Go for that and the pizza. We are also like for BBC Good Food. Mm -hmm. We have been nominated for an award for best vegan lasagna okay. in town. You deserve it. Thank you. What made you come up with this concept and why did you choose Just Being Vegan, you know? So Just Vegan initially we started in 2017. Mm -hmm. Our headquarters is based in New York, US. Okay. When the pandemic hit, like everything went for a shot, right? So that's when we took the opportunity and we did a lot of research. We saw that there is no option for vegan. Mm -hmm. We started our first restaurant in Marina. That's our first branch and also franchised in with Ila Restaurant and Cafe, which is in Alsif. Ila? Ila. Okay. And we have other franchise in Barsha, that is Faruj Express. Okay. And in April is when we started this place, okay. so which is our flagship fine dining. Concept. So this started in 2021. 2021. Like very yes. recent. Yeah. Very recent. So this is our Oni Choco. Okay. Mm. But I like the mousse and the texture of the dessert. I'm not done with the dessert and I'm looking at that one. I'm like, what is that? That is good. Oh, that's churros. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite. Oh. Best ones I ate in the a Mr. Best, best one I ate in a Mr. Dunn. Uh -huh. To be honest, they have those stands uh -huh. and they sell it with the sauce. Oh, so what are those two sauces here? So we have chocolate sauce and we also uh, caramel, have caramel. Caramel, of sauce. course, my favorite. Uh, this is the same chocolate sauce, yeah? Yeah. Let me try it. Mmm. That's what I like. Mm -hmm. That crispy bite when I eat the shiros, that's my favorite. Coming in warm. It's 
Isn't have, it have a good day. And I... Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> good, no. I saved mine. <laughs> this one I love. Mm. This one, yeah. yeah. It's very crispy. Mm. I should just come here, mm -hmm. honk my horn, and just say, "Give me some pure takeaway." Yes, you're always that welcome, is it. AJ. That's really good. So you have great food, lovely desserts, lovely space. I love all the green in this place. Am I missing anything? We do have like yoga sessions every Friday morning. What? Here? Yes. We also have like dog yoga, which happens. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> now you're kidding me. Dog no. yoga? What is yes. a dog yoga? You come practice yoga mm -hmm. with your pet along. Come on, are they like professional pets or like are they police pets? No, they're just normal police your pets. house pet. And they do yoga? Yes. I have do. to see that. <laughs> yoga itself relieves your stress. So when there is pet as well, it increases and you know, you start having that calmness in you. If I don't own a dog, what should I bring with me? Can I bring my parrot? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, we can. Like, okay. We are pet friendly, we okay. welcome to all so kinds of animals. Okay, excellent. There is a holistic sound therapy as well, which happens here. Okay. Nice, that's very good. And do you do catering like by any chance or do you have delivery as well? or? We do have delivery and we are looking into options of catering as well as we are getting a lot of requests. Okay. And other than that, we are also opening many branches. So we are opening in Business Bay next. We have in City Walk. Oh. And uh, so our main aim is to spread across and open more ventures within UAE and across the globe within 2022. 2022? I thought you were going to say 2030. That's a very short amount of time for being uh, so ambitious, mashallah. Yes. Well, I learned a lot today about sustainability <laughs> and I'm sure I can become vegan once in a while, you know? Of course, even the others, you can become vegan and stop eating meat so I can eat more meat. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what is that coming through? Excuse me? Yes. Can I have one, please? Yes. Thank you very much. Ooh. Thank you. That looks so good and colorful. Mm, thank you.